This is Dr. Supriya Shripal from the Dr. Supriya Shripal YouTube channel, Chairwoman and Medical Director, also the Internal Medicine Chief and Consultant of the Shripal Lok Seva Indian Police Service Medical Global Foundation. Today we are joined by a guest speaker, Ms. Sainka Shripal from the Ms. Sainka Shripal Supreme YouTube channel, My Eldest Daughter. She says hello to you. Hello. So this video is mainly being posted to let you know that we have to give great importance, respect and value to our family, roots, lineage and legacy and also to our world because this is what is the greatest blessing of God from the Divine Lord to us is. The message today in 2020 April is to respect, cherish and value with great appreciation our family, roots, lineage and legacy and this great Mother Earth for us, for ourselves, for our children and our children's children. The great future posterity. So I am posting a video to say about my family. Mr. Padma Prabha Gauda hails from Vainar, which is around 64 kilometers uphill from Calicut or Korikor, where you can reach Calicut or Korikor anywhere from India by train or by air route. And from there, you have to take the Ghat Road and reach Vainar. Or from Mysore, you can go through the Mysore forest area and reach Calicut and also reach Vainar. So, if you are going through the Mysore route, you have to go through the Mysore forest and reach Vainar. Our forefathers are the emperors and empresses of Vainar. So, Vainad is known for its plantations of tea, coffee, ilachi, cardamom, cocoa, pepper. Then, and for the past two decades, our family, our royal, lineage, blue blooded legacy and lineage family of Vainad is now also planting organic fruits and vegetables and exporting them to all over the world. Sainka, you were telling me that about this incident, you had an anecdote in your school? Yes, I would like to tell more about it in detail. Some friends of mine, while having their lunch, they said, look here, I am eating organic foods right from Kerala, that too, from Vainad. And then I said, well, it must be from one of our estates only. So yes, so this is the legacy and lineages, Begipan lineage our forefathers have bestowed and bequeathed to us. So Mr. Padma Prabha Gauda was the person who was also a two-time MLA along with being from the royal family of Vainar, who's being an emperor, an empress, Mrs. Marudevi Avva. Marudevi Avva's father, Mr. Chandraya Gauda, was a two-time hailing consecutive member of parliament, MP of Vainar. He was the person who opened the first hospital, CJMH Hospital, Chandraya Jain Memorial Hospital for the poor and needy of Vainat. So, the first educational institution that is SKMJ House High School, which is called Subba Krishna Jain Memorial High School. Krishnaya Gauda and Subbi Avva were the mother and father, respectively, or I can say again, the mother was Subbi Avva and the father was Krishnaya Gauda opened the first educational institution for the poor and needy children of Vainar. Just imagine in 1940s and 50s that too in a Ghat Road hill station to open a school free 
for the poor and needy. And today it houses around 5,000 students of this school and it's difficult to get a seat there. It's one of the most famous educational institutions in Wainar. And also the Wainar people of our lineage and legacy are giving 500 acres of land to the Kerala government because there is no land to build a government hospital in Wainar. Our family is donating 500 acres of land to build this hospital in Wainar. And to share a memory here, Mr. Padma Prabha Gauda, let me go into detail about his history, was a two-time consecutive MLA in Wainar and his father-in-law, that is Chandraya Gauda, was a two-time member of parliament from Wainart. So our family is not only a blue-blooded royal lineage legacy family, but also politically oriented and politically actively involved in the Rajniti or the governing of the land. So Mr. Padmurpa Gauda is a great man who was mostly relying on self-sufficient, self-reliant ways of living. He had a gober gas right behind his house which would generate electricity and our palace in Wainart, this is one of the most beautiful palaces I've ever seen. I've been to Buckingham Palace and other palaces in Europe when I was studying there for about three years and uh, of course I have seen places all over the world I've been living in the States and in Europe and other places of Southeast Asia but I have never seen a palace like the one my grandfather had built. It is the most amazing palace which is equivalent to seven seven star hotels. It had an amazing rose garden in the front, an amazing green earth of garden, a big oval shaped almost round garden in the front of the house. The podium is just looking so grandiose and royal and the roses shades were from deepest red to the palest of cream and ivory and all colors of roses were planted on either side of the palace. He had also had a big step pond which shows that he relied only on himself for water so he used to go for herbal hunting of precious herbs in his own back forest behind his palace and all around his palace for precious herbs we give on precious herbs for treating for ailments and other issues all by himself and took care of his seven we give on eight children and even later his grandkids. So Mr. Padmapurva Gauda also kept Maunavrit on Sundays. That was one of his great following principles of self-knowledge, ahimsa and formidable forgiveness which he followed very very truly. And it so happened Sayanka that on a Sunday when he kept Maunavrit there was a person there was a person who had been bitten by a king cobra. So since it was a Sunday and he was not able to speak, he would not be speaking because, beg your pardon, he was keeping the Mount of Rith. He wrote by instructions, yes, and actually removed the poison of the deadly snake from this farmer who was working, that too, in the night. So you can imagine his skills. He would tell my mother, I believe, was the fifth of the eight children, Mrs. M.P. Renuka Devi Sripa, wife of the doing stalwart, iconic, legendary god of police, Mr. S. Sripal, Director General of Law and Order, three and a half years, and six and a half years, City Commissioner of Chennai, and DGP Law and Order, that is Director General of Police Law and Order, Chennai for three and a half years. 
so he would tell my mother that he can actually rotate this whole wall in his little finger he would do like this and say see renuka devi shripal then known as renuka devi i would do that he knew how to make an atomic bomb he would say we should know everything and be self reliant and use all our knowledge in the right channels his house was so self sufficient that it was safe and secure in the front and in the back he had built a crocodile pond around his house so that actually other than having guards and other than he himself being a great guardian he even had protection through animals such as crocodiles so you know it would keep the kind of people who should not come to his house away he had pets i remember as a child every summer holidays we would go with my parents and my elder brother to wynard and play in these beautiful farmlands we used to be having pets of tuskers that is elephants horses zebras actually see beautiful cows and buffaloes and all sorts of birds and you can just name it and deers and everything would be there from fruits to vegetables whatever exotic kind of fruits and also these sort of wonderful animal husbandry and they would you beg your pardon they would work in the temples and come home back and we would feed them big big pardon feed them big bowls of rice sainka yes and we would be taking you shortly to see the renovated palace in wynar yes i am totally excited to see my own ancestral palace yes so with regard to mrs marudevi avva the staunch righteous virtuous jain woman she was an ardent devotee of lord ayappa and asked her husband to build an ayappa temple since mr padma prabha gauda already had built around five temples of digabad jains in wynad he said why don't we build the ayappa temple in the back lands of our palace itself and the kumbha abhishega was done so this is the liberal thinking of our family though we hail from a staunch digabad jain family she still wanted to worship the ishta devata she wanted and my grandfather gave the utmost respect and care for her feelings and said let's build it and the kumbha abhishega was done and today that temple that murti is so beautiful swami ayappa is very famous lord ayappa temple in wynad other than this <coughs> our kutamanda family kutamanda has built the most famous glass jain temple in wynad which is world famous which is there named in the guinness book of world records along with other five temples which my grandfather has built so other than this his great practices were he used to go to these darbars that were being dissolved royal darbars from tipu sultan hyderabad and other royal darbars and get auctions of gold trinkets and gold jewelry and other antiques from these places so from tipu sultan darbar he had got lot of jewelry which was worth around 5 lakhs at that time in the 1940s and 50s which may be worth in equal in the financial analyst can work up the total number so tipu sultan's revolver i have seen it personally where his that small barrel would have a green big emerald stone and was fully bejeweled and saika you had a surreal experience the other day yes since our family from my grandfather's side is blue blooded too as he rose up to be the king of tamil nadu state a few police officers came to our house and i requested for them to show me they are duty gun and so 
gingerly, so tenderly be placed in my palm and told me to be careful with it, keep my fingers away from the trigger. And I held it. And it was as if I, at that moment, could sense what my grandfather would have gone through every day in the line of duty. I meant that you were reading about Tipu Sultan. Anyway, this video which you said, you have already posted it for the national and global audiences of your channel. You were reading about Tipu Sultan and you felt... Yes, we had a chapter on the French Revolution and it was said that people like Raj Ram Mohan Roy and also Tipu Sultan took the ideas, the basic ideals from the French Revolution and adapted them for their use. And when I read the name Tipu Sultan, immediately this memory came back to me. Just as my grandmother and my mother too have said that Tipu Sultan's revolver was auctioned and given to my great-grandfather Padma Prabha Gauda. And my mother and grandmother have also constantly told me that the barrel of the gun will be inset with a huge emerald. Yes, it is Bijuel as I told you. So, another thing I wanted to tell you is, this is Maladevi Avva. When, during the independence fighting period, when Mahatma Gandhi had visited a palace, then in there, without thinking for a second, she removed around six bangles from each of her hand diamond bangles and gave it to Bapuji saying Bapuji this is for our freedom fight use it he was so happy with the young Marudevi and blessed her and say you're one of the most proud angels of our Bharat Raj so she is a great staunch righteous virtuous woman who brought up eight children in a fantastic manner another thing about Padma Prabha Gauda was the fact that he always used to sleep with a double barrel gun and a revolver in his mattress to keep safe his children and family. One day it so happened that they had a beautiful cow who was yielding around 15 liters of milk every day and my mother Renuka Devi used to milk the cow in the morning at 4 am and have around 15 liters of milk and around 10 to 15 grams of butter extracted from it fresh. So in the night, a black panther had come and had unfortunately had a spray with our cow and it was creating a lot of nuisance in Vainad, endangering people's life. So the next night, my grandfather, for purposes of serving the humanity, had to kill the black panther and he was hailed a great hero for saving the plantation and the people. He would go single-handedly alone to the tea and coffee estates to make sure that everything is safe and all the people and the plantations are safe. So this is something which I wanted to tell you also. Any other points Sanka, about Mr. Padma Prabha Gauda Jain? Yes. My great-grandfather knew how to make an atom bomb. Also, there was a Jain Pashwana.